Okay, we have here too a really simple looking integral. We've got the integral of minus pi to pi of x dx. And you may think this is the simplest integral in the world, and you're probably right. And now you may want to use power rule on this, and then you could do that and you could solve it in like three seconds. But I actually have something where we can solve it in like two seconds. So I'm pretty confident that if I do it this way, I can shave like a half second off my time. Okay, so we have on the board here this principle of odd functions that says that if we have an odd function f of x, and we have bounds symmetric around zero, like minus a to a, then our integral is just zero. Now we see here we have the symmetric bounds, and there are a few other conditions on this, like we need the bounds to be finite, and we need a continuous curve, but of course x is continuous. And you notice for x, we could look at this as an odd exponent of one, and then we can know it's an odd function. That way you can actually check it. If our f of x, if our f of x is equal to x, then our check for an odd function, if we plug in minus x, then of course we have minus x, and this is the same thing as minus f of x, and this is our definition for an odd function. So in this case, all we need to do is, in our heads, we can check that this is an odd function, we have symmetric bounds, and we can go right to our solution of just zero. So that's it, quick and easy, we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching, have a great day.